From the President's office in the White House in Washington, D.C., we present a special address by the President of the United States, Dwight D. Eisenhower. For a few minutes this evening, I should like to speak to you about the serious situation that has arisen in Little Rock. My words would better convey both the sadness I feel and the action I was compelled today to make. As you know, the Supreme Court of the United States has decided that separate public educational facilities for the races are inherently unequal, and therefore compulsory school segregation laws are unconstitutional. This morning, the mob again gathered in front of the Central High School of Little Rock, obviously for the purpose of again preventing the carrying out of the court's order relating to the admission of Negro children to that school. I have today issued an executive order directing the use of troops under federal authority to aid in the execution of federal law at Little Rock, Arkansas. Thus will be restored the image of America and of all its parts as one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good night and thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. The story of the Little Rock Nine in the end is the story of the triumph of the rule of law in the American Constitution, which was given expression not only by a decision of the United States Supreme Court, but by a decision of a president determined to enforce the rule of law. Today we celebrate the faith of our founders, the faith of parents in their children, the faith of children in their future. We celebrate it because we can, and we can because these nine people helped us to keep it alive and to redeem it. And now, as others have said, it is for us to take that faith into a new millennium. Once again, to redeem the promise of our country by giving all of our children a world-class education and all of our people a chance to be part of our prosperity, and by giving all of our increasingly diverse citizens a chance to be a part of one America. This is a special day for me, a happy day, a sad day, an emotional day, and it is fitting that we recognize what these people did to make the walls of bigotry and prejudice fall in America when they marched up the steps to school, a simple act. They became foot soldiers for freedom, carrying America to higher ground. You know, when Little Rock happened, I was 11 years old, living 50 miles away, and these people, they just burst in on their lives. And I feel like I've been walking along with them for 42 years now. Twelve years ago, on the 30th anniversary of the Central High incident, I invited them all to come to the governor's mansion, and I showed them around in the rooms where Governor Faubus plotted all the stratagems to keep them out of school. They got a kick out of that, <laughs> and so did I. Ten years later, as president, I had the profound honor of going to Central High School to hold the doors open for them as they walked in without incident. And it was great. Now speaking on behalf of the Little Rock Nine, the first African American to graduate from Little Rock Central High, Ernie Green. Uh, we were really ordinary people. And we really owe a debt of gratitude to Daisy Bates and to our parents. This is a special day for us. We uh, come to this with uh, a great admiration for all of the work that went in to present us these medals. Uh, it has been a, uh, a long journey, but I think each of us would consider it worthwhile. While the sacrifices have been great, uh, we recognized in 1957 this was not an easy journey. It was one in which we thought we were simply exercising our right to the best education that was available in Little Rock, Arkansas. 
So today, as the Little Rock Nine become maybe the Little Rock 10, and maybe the Little Rock 1,000, and maybe the Little Rock 10,000, and who knows, millions, because just maybe our story will affect some young person and make them believe that they have the opportunity to change their life and their destiny. God bless America. Now we open the doors of this house for holding fast to their steps, for not turning aside. We now ask these nine humble children thrown into strong adults to come forth for their goal. The president is authorized to present on behalf of the Congress to the Little Rock Nine gold medals in recognition of the selfless heroism such individuals exhibited and the pain they suffered in the cause of civil rights by integrating Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. Oh.